Hi guys, James at Bespoke Airsoft here and we're in the showroom in Slough I'm here to show you another cool product we've just had in and this is the Chiapa Rhino 50DS CO2 revolver you can obviously see this is very futuristic looking indeed got a nice colour scheme, we have these in black with the silver cylinder silver hammer and silver trigger and we also have them in the limited edition one of 500, so there's only 500 of these in existence if that is to be believed which come in the silver finish with the black cylinder, black hammer and black trigger. Very cool indeed. So you've actually got a double action and single action feature on this pistol. The double action, you obviously charge the hammer, the hammer still moves forward, um, but it means the, the revolver is half cocked. And usually this means that the trigger pressure needed to release the action is much lighter than usual. Now, my only bugbear with this revolver is that the hammer is actually harder, or feels harder, um, in single action compared to double action. Probably because in the double action mode, it's the same, but because you're already pulling the trigger in that motion, it just feels a lot easier. On the left hand side of the revolver, you've got a little lever here. By pushing this, you can push the cylinder out, which will reveal the shells, which you can just drop out here. These look very similar to wind gun shells, so I presume that is who is the OEM on these uh, revolvers. Shells just here. So we, all, we also have it in the black colour, which is the standard colour. Now, there's a few things in the box that come with this. You obviously get the six shells, you get a clip as well, which I believe are called moon clips. Um, so you can just slot the shells on there and it makes them more manageable. If you're using this as a skirmish pistol, you can just drop them in there, fire the revolver, and then when you want to empty them, instead of dumping six individual shells out, it keeps them all contained. It is a bit of a, a push to get these on the clip itself. It does require a bit of, bit of a force to get them clipped in there, but at least you know they're not going to pop out on their own. Also, in the case, you get a Chiapo, Chiapo Firearms um, sticker. You get a little laser cut tool which has different sizes on, so I presume this is used predominantly for adjusting the sights uh, and things like that. You get a C-type spanner here which is used on the barrel. Now if you can see this here, this, this gun actually does have a hop unit system and what you do is you pop the wrench in there like that and you can hear it click and then you can adjust it. The way this adjusts, um, as you turn that, it will go on, 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 and then at the last step, it will go off. So it's it's increasing increments, and then as you click the last click round, it will release it and go back to the top. So nice. You can decock the hammer, of course, much like a real revolver. As the hammer is cocked, ready to fire, you just pull that back, pull the trigger, release the hammer, and it's back to its original state. You've got fiber optic iron sights on this model with the rear one being adjustable up and down, left and right for windage and elevation. You've also got a safety here at the back here which locks the hammer in place. I do have a CO2 cylinder in this one. Um, this is clear. It's been checked, double checked, triple checked. There's no uh, shells in it whatsoever so it cannot fire a BB. So guys, please trust me when I say it is safe. Uh, there's no one else in the showroom here with me this morning and we've got the double action and then we've got the single action so you can see there it's lovely and loud um, definitely going to incite some fear for those around the corner in your uh, skirmish games so also in the box you do get some other bits, you get a patch, which is Einstein, <laughs> what it looks like Einstein holding, dual wielding the rhinos themselves, so that comes in the box too. You get a red disc here, and I am guessing at this stuff guys, because there's no, there's no mention to this in the manual that comes with it, although you do get a manual on how to operate the revolver. I'm pretty sure this red plastic uh, disc here is for the cylinder itself to stop you to show that it's clear stop you putting shells in maybe 
So it makes it really easy to put these shells in. Just pop them in like so. And you're ready to go. Again, this is empty, guys. Um, so that's good to go like that. Including everything that you get in the box. It's not actually a box that the revolver comes in. You get a nice hard case with Chapa firearms on the front there. So very nice touch indeed. Same as with the silver model, you get all the same stuff. Uh, all the same bits in the box as the black one. Just you get this limited edition, 357 Magnum limited edition one. If it's going to focus there. One of 500. You might not be able to see that, but it does say it on there. I'll try and get a picture of that if I can. Very cool revolver indeed. Not the cheapest, but they are a hefty weight. You know, you've got a nice rail here for lights, lasers, any kind of attachments that you want. Um, I'm not sure if there's any kind of accessories to put like a red dot sight on this. Maybe, who knows. Um, the CO2 is actually put in the grip, as you'll see here. And as you take the grip off, it has the tool for tightening and loosening the cylinder to take it out. Like so. And then you just pop that back in. Very nice grip indeed. Fake, like a fake laminate wood style with the logo on the grip there. So like I said, we've got these in the black and the limited edition silver finish. They're on the website right now. I'll include a link uh, in the video where you can find them on the website. Get them while we've got them because I can't imagine these will last five minutes. I'm James of Bespoke. This and many other standard and bespoke items on the website, bespokeairsoft.co.uk. Any questions, pop them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.